Hello and welcome to a new vlog. I'm going to make this brief because I feel like this is kind of imposing and a little bit in the way. But I am en route to meet Freya. We are shooting, we've got four looks to do today. And then we have a lunch at Grand Pacific. It's not an event, but they are doing like a new business lunch menu and they've invited us down to go and try it out. So that is what we're doing later today. It's gorgeous. It's Thursday, the 27th. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's meant to be like 24 degrees and no cloud at all. So it should be a really nice day, but I'm gonna hit the road now. Although I've not heard from Freya yet today and I have just messaged her twice. Hope she's all right. But yeah, gonna hit the road and I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we're on to our third outfit and I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing before we get changed. This is a cos dress and it's kind of in like this sandy, camely, beigey colour. Zara sandals, Mimure bag, which I actually did a collab with them recently. And then some jewel boutique sunglasses, which are quite old now, so they might not still be in stock. But this is out of the night. Final outfit. So I'm wearing this ASOS dress, which will have been in my haul. Hopefully that's up by now. What are you wearing? I am wearing a pretty little thing. We're both in shorts. Yeah, I love a sleep. I know, I do. This is actually from Shein. It's nice. My wear cell bag and my Primark little comfy Cute. macrame slipper thing. Nice. Sounds <laughs> Oh yeah, my these ones, yeah, Massimo nice. Dutty like ones, yeah, nice. and my Loewe, trusty Loewe, it is trusty because it's big yeah. and it just kind of fits everything in. But we're going to shoot these now and then head on to Grand Pacific for our business lunch. So it's available Monday to Friday until 5. I presume it starts at 12 because it's lunch, isn't it? So I presume it starts at 12. Oh, the smoked salmon spring roll sounds nice. Unless we do a bit of a share, we could do a bit of a share. We can just like get, get two, two starters, starters and, two try bit, and try a bit, try a bit of each, yeah. or just that with the I starters feel like that or whatever. Would be to do that, so Ooh, curry sounds nice. Different yeah, we can have a bit more variety. So we've gone for the beef tartar. Is that right? Is uh, it be no, no beetroot tartar? Beetroot tartar. Because tar 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 like tar tar. we're getting the beef teriyaki later. And then what was this one? The chicken wontons. Chicken wontons. Chicken wontons. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the camera off. Okay, so we have finished our lunch that was so delicious. And we are now going to head home because our train, not quite. Parking. Our parking runs out in 20 minutes, so we need to drive back and then might take the rest of the afternoon off. We've got a few Woo! bits, we've got a few bits and bobs. I always feel so guilty, no, 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 even though I work at the weekend as I was well. Say, we'll work 24 7. I know. Like, that's being your own boss. You get to choose your own hours. I know. I just feel so guilty, but yeah, I might, Still I might enjoy. So. I'll, I'll do. Oh gosh. Bag's gone. I'll do some bits, but yeah, delicious lunch. And for fourteen ninety five, was it? Yeah, it was good. Two courses for that, and Grand Pacific is a really nice venue as well. If you've not been, you need to check it out. Hello, everyone. So it's Hello. Sunday. 
Sunday nearly lunchtime. It's 20 to 11. We've just shot two outfits for me and one for Tim. If you don't follow him on Instagram, his handle is at Timothy Rotherham. That's right. I'll leave it below. Go on. I'll leave it below. So we're going now to try out Dishim, which is like, what is it? Indian? Indian. It's Indian restaurant, um, kind of like tapas -y style. We're going to try that out and they've kindly invited us down. So we're going to give it a whirl and yeah, we're going there right now. We've, we've booked it for 12 because we knew we were kind of shooting a bit earlier on. We're going to do that and maybe knit to Uniqlo afterwards, but we shot our outfits. I'm not too happy with mine. I love it's mine. I'm not really feeling my looks today, but whatever. Anyway, let's go to dish you. So before we go in, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. So I've got this top on by Zara, £20 in sale, so pretty good price. Under the stories jeans, my Zara sandals, which are actually now in the sale, and Gucci bag, and Gucci sunglasses. <laughs> So I've gone for the Rudy's cotton drink, which is kind of like a daiquiri, and Tim has gone for one with tequila in. Do you remember the name of it? Um, a bit like a margarita. A bit like a margarita, he says, but they look good. <laughs> it's a mint. Nice. Is it good? I'm going to try mine. Makes it look worse when you do it to yourself. You want to film me? Tim's prawns. The waiter actually recommended these, didn't he? They look, they look nice. I'm not a prawn person, but I used to be. Good. Yummy. This is so good. So this is our next one. That is that's one I chili chicken. I'm a bit annoyed that you went for those because I don't even like prawns, so I can't have any of them. <laughs> That is the lamb biryani, which is like a Manchester special version. We've got chicken tikka rolls <laughs> and some naan bread here. It looks so good. Make sure a bit of that one. Yeah. So this is a lamb biryani. <laughs> It looks so good. All this is just so delicious. Hot. Yep. Oh, you've got it all down your chin. Have you got it all down your chin? <laughs> good. <laughs> is the watermelon sherbet and yours is the passion fruit I like a bit Bailey's chai and this is a house chai. Oh, I like the little coffee bean touch. Are they too hot to drink? That's all right. This is so delicious. So this is the house chai, but it's quite sweet, isn't it? Yeah. And this ba Bailey's one, I've only tasted the cream on it, but <laughs> the cream was 10 out of 10. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So, it's actually, what day are we on? Tuesday morning, 
and obviously we went to Dishim and I really couldn't rate it more. It's kind of, well it is an Indian, but it's kind of what I would say an Indian with a twist. It, it feels a bit more, I want to say looks than an, a normal Indian. It's kind of tapas -y style. You can get tapas dishes or you can get um, kind of main dishes. We tried their Manchester um, kind of special. Each city has their own special, but it was just delicious. And we even got to take it home afterwards. We actually brought it home. Wasn't even that much left. We were, you know when you're like, wow, this sounds like a lot of food on the table. It looked like so much, but we got through quite a lot. And then we took it home and finished that off as well with the help of Tim's brother. Back now, obviously, it's Tuesday. Just having a working day today. I'll be going over to Tim's after lunchtime and kind of working from his house this afternoon. I've got some clips to send him to edit, to give to him to edit. It's just gonna be so much easier when we live in Manchester though because we'll both be together. So I feel like all the faffy little things that take up time and trying to communicate with each other and trying to improve on everything that we're doing and making things better will be a lot easier living together rather than like trying to go back and forth. Obviously I'm there a lot, but it's it would be easier to just be together on his days that he works with me more. Anyway, that's a little rant over. I'm gonna share something lurking in the background, which is my glossy box. So you'll know, well, if you've watched my last vlog, we actually went, Freya and I both went to the glossy box event, which was so lovely. We met all the girls that kind of work for glossy box and then some other influences too. We went to King Street Townhouse, which if you've not been in Manchester, it's just, it's a must visit. So I'm actually working with glossy box on this to kind of show you and tell you a bit more about what it is and what it entails. I'm gonna show you inside my glossy box and yeah tell you a bit more detail about the brand so basically glossy box is a subscription based service of beauty products and you can actually get it in either a one month three month six month or 12 month um, subscription. So if you only wanted to kind of try it out for one month, you can do that. And I also have a discount code. So if you use Lydia30, you can get 30% off your glossy box, which makes this basically to pay for one month is 10 pounds. So if you get the one month and use my code, then you'll be getting this box, which is worth over 50 pounds of products. You'll actually be getting this for just seven pounds. It is such an amazing deal. And when I show you inside, I think you will be very impressed at what you get for that price. So this is a holiday haul edit, which is very appropriate with it being July. So it's got makeup, skincare, and hair care products inside. I'm gonna open it. Okay, so comes in this gorgeous pink box, which is actually really useful, I think, afterwards for storage. It's kind of their iconic pink box. So this is what it comes like. So it includes five products inside, which together are worth over £50. So let us unwrap the box and see what is inside. So of course I've got to mention as well that each month every box is different and comes with some really unique products as well. So this is inside our glossy box. The first product is this tea tree witch hazel peel mask and it says it's for a deep and intense cleanse which is great kind of if you're on holiday and your skin is kind of clogged up with sun cream, a bit oily, just slap this on and it will really give you that thorough cleanse. Then we have got this Amaro Vixer, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, cleansing foam, which I am so pleased about because I used this before in the past and it's run out. I don't think it was this exact one, but it was definitely one of their cleansing foams and I really, really liked it. I thought it's really nice, light, travel weight kind of size. It feels nice and refreshing on the face. There is nothing worse than trying to cram a great big heavy cleanser into your travel bag. So this is gonna be perfect for some holidays. And this is the deluxe sample worth 18 pounds on its own. So next is the Morocco Oil Treatment Oil, 
which is worth 13.45. So this is gonna be really great for in the summer when your hair's a bit dry, put a few drops of this on. Again, really nice travel size, which is perfect for taking on holiday, which is probably when you're gonna need it the most. Pop this into your hair and it kind of nourishes it and gives it all those oils back that it's been missing. So next we have this Manacada Mascara, which is worth $22.25. And this is a full size version of that. I'm very excited to try this actually. I really like this style of wand where it's not kind of too thick and clumpy because I think that just makes your lashes like it's, it's, it's hard to get in. This looks like a nice size to kind of really get in there and black as well, so you can't go wrong with that. And then we've got the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Body Tanner, and this is just gonna be perfect for holidays. I'm gonna try and smell it, because I know it's gonna smell really good. Mmm, that is delicious. But yeah, a gradual tanning moisturizer is perfect, especially for your face as well, I think, rather than, I mean, you can't really put instant tan on your face. Well, perhaps some people do, but on me it just looks, woo, too much. So um, a gradual moisturizer is perfect for the face and just for a bit of layering and it just says to apply it once daily. But again, if you're going on kind of a bit of a mini break or a few days away, this is probably your best bet to go for because it's just a nice, it's actually really light size and weight so really good for on holiday so what i love about this concept probably most of all is that it's those little treats that come every month to your doorstep and it's also an inbuilt savings when you sign up to the subscription so i will put the information below i'll put a link as well as my discount code lydia30 as a reminder in the description box so you can go and get your glossy box there we haven't actually booked a holiday yet but we're, we've been trying to look for a holiday day in about three weeks time so whether we end up going or not I don't know but we are definitely going away in September so later on so I think I might even try and save some of these products for them instead for then instead of using them now so that I've got like quite travel size holiday friendly versions of everything so I'm gonna crack on my, my day now I'm gonna reply to a few more emails we might actually we've kind of thought about having a bit of a day off tomorrow and maybe just going for a nice walk and some lunch somewhere so probably won't be vlogging that because we just wanted to take a little bit of a break but yeah just work the rest of the day I don't know when I'm gonna see you now but I'm sure it will be shortly <gasps> I so said it was still. it's Sorry. Saturday night now I think I'm gonna end the vlog here but I'm just going out with these two Cheers. lovely ladies. So these two I've known from being four, four if not younger. Little babies. Um, but we've not seen Natalie for ages. So we're going out to Manchester tonight. Yes. Yeah. Our outfits tonight. Wearing these pants. <laughs> Can't wear shorts because my eyes got a bit thin. So I've got very, um, <laughs> very bad legs. I've legs. It's not great. Leg issues. <laughs> Natalie's gone, gone very quiet. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Cheers. Camera shy. Well, cheers. Thanks for watching this weekly vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.